yo yo check this out so this is a innovative product it's one of those like mobile routers but you just kind of insert a sim card and it's good to go so i'm going to do a little quick unboxing of this to show you guys what's inside of it but this is one of those like um, portable 4g lte routers it's amazing because you can just insert a sim card that you already pay for like your cell phone one um you know at t mobile verizon that already has a data plan on that like you know you already most people have unlimited data or at least like 10 gigabytes a month anyways so you can just throw it in there and it's pretty much operational so uh currently before this product this was you know this one of those innovative awards at ces in 2020 which kind of cool for cyber security and personal privacy i'll tell you more about that in a bit but before i was using this kind of like you know router right here look at this so you know how every home has uh or if you do have internet access but most homes have uh, a router and a modem and of course you know these things are built in modem slash router so that all you need is a sim card and so on the back of this one so kind of cool. I like this one the little one it's from a, like a Chinese brand that I found and of course you need it always powered but uh, this has a little sim card slot and then a little DC volt and a micro USB port so what's so cool about this little device is that I can just plug in a power bank and have it charged and running so I can always have mobile internet this also LTE router so you can always I can always have mobile internet wherever I need and instead of using my phone data like let's say my phone data uh, has no cap or it has a 10 gigabyte cap um, I need internet on the road and I don't want to use my phone's battery so I just use the power bank which makes it last as long as the power bank charges this device and you're capable of LTE 4G as long as you know how to program it program it inside the thing inside the computer so uh, one hard thing about this is that uh, you, you will need a computer or connect to the IP address of this device Add some information of the IP address and connect to it to log in to do the settings so that you're able to use your SIM card as a mobile router because most often uh, you will have to pay for a separate data plan and not be able to use um, 4G LTE access most of the time when you put a SIM card in it I just think it's um, a router and you only get like the 2G and you know 2 or 3G that uh, is default on your phone plan when you're inserting a SIM card that doesn't have its own separate data plan and that's usually how it works but if you know how to um, set it inside the configurations you will be able to get your 4G at least higher speed data um, as long as you can trick the network. I don't know how to do that so I'm not gonna say that I could you just have to google it and find out how to do it yourself if you wanted that ha to happen so um, put that to the side and actually get to unboxing this little device um, so this is called uh, moody it's a uh, it's it's kind of like a new uh, ish type of device and the website itself is a gl slash inet.com so if you want to look at more information about it um, what's included this router it's a built-in power brick so you don't have to have a, a separate uh, power bank to charge this device so it can last it's kind of like one of those portable routers where you can take anywhere uh, if you ever been overseas uh, for instance like Japan uh, I didn't have internet or I had very slow internet back when I went and I needed one of these mobile devices to carry around with me and they also sell these at the airport where you can borrow uh, you pay a fee like a ten dollars a day so you can have um, higher speed internet while you're tra traveling and walking around uh, while you're visiting so um, this device itself it comes with the AC 750 wireless which is a uh, good enough fast enough speed you can have you can insert a micro SD card slot in there as dual bound Wi-Fi uh, VPN Tor uh, open WRT as travel friendly so you can actually take it anywhere but I believe this is mostly used for within the uh, North America so I'm not sure if you can actually take it around internationally and this will still give you 4G LTE but um, I'm gonna open it up and show you guys what's inside the box
I like using a razor. I actually get a knife, but I've been using this razor for a while and it's kind of simple, you know, easy to use. Sliding it out. All right. Cool. Black box. Slide open. You'll see it first. Ooh, dropped out some stuff. So it says, let's get started. All right. Um, and also provides the warranty information as well. So, and of course, like our page. Okay. Looking at the box, we have a couple of items. I'll we'll drop this out. Uh, oh, right here. Drop out the device. Here is a little sticker. Let's open it up. Pop it open. It's okay. There's a little cool little piece of device. It looks like a just a basic power brick, as you can just tell. Um, a little hand strap and a little switch to turn on. A USB C and a USB port on the bottom. So my other device uses micro USB, so that's kind of cool to have this upgrade by now. And the rest of the packaging oh, opens up like this. I believe this is your power brick. Oh yeah, your charger. Oh, no. Actually, I'm not sure. Oh, so it's kind of like an extension because if you need a LAN port, the other my other one comes with the Ethernet and a LAN port. Um, I think. Let me take a look. Yeah, it comes with a WAN, a WAN, and a LAN port. So one of each. And this one, of course, comes with that too. If you need it to plug into your computer, so you can uh, have it powered up, plugged in, and this goes. So one side is power, the other side is to the E750, which I guess is the owner of a C to C cable. There's only one other plug. So you have a C to C cable in here, and then and this plugs into the power, and you're able to plug in an Ethernet cord for your device. So that's basically that part. Of course, let's see what's in Drop down. All right. Looks like this is the brick. A charger and it's powered by USB. They don't give you USB C. Not yet. Maybe in the future. They'll start giving USB C plugs. Because of course they can be of course they give you a USB C to C, but they don't give you a USB C to charge because that costs more to make. Right now. And this little pouch to hold it all in, a little mesh pouch right here. Put it down on the table. And a couple more cables. Okay, it comes with a little uh, LAN cable or Ethernet cable so you can plug into your laptop. If you still do that instead of, um, you know, um, using Wi Fi, do not keep charging for more than 24 hours. Do not charge in a low temperature environment, otherwise, the battery will be damaged. Okay, so it's a little warning label on the box that tells you don't overcharge it, don't keep it plugged in because it does get hot since it's a battery. And that's basically it. So, the device itself, what does it come with? A charging port, a charging cable, it's, which is USB to C. So this plugs in here, and you charge it directly, the unit, like this. So to power it on, you use it, but you don't want to charge it for more than 24 hours, like it, the instruction says. I'll leave it unplugged. Put that to the side. Um, it comes with a C to C cable. I have plenty of these. So the C to C cable is to plug this to this. Uh, let's kind of demonstrate it. For you. C to C, and then gives you your Ethernet. That's you know, plug into your computer just like that. So and of course you need it. To utilize this you would need a charging so here it is to charge it here you go all plugged in ready to go this is a little bulky um i have to say so only if you were actually needing to power your laptop up and use ethernet cable you know you carry this dongle but in general i believe this one comes with the built-in battery and it tells you it it comes with a 7000 milliamp battery and doesn't give you any other Wi-Fi information. Let's take a look at, there's a button on the side and there's a little switch right here. I wonder what the switch does. Doesn't really do anything. 
So, and it looks like there's a little hook. I wonder if you kill that open or pry that open, but it does anything. Let's take a look at that. Use my razor. Try to pop it open. I wonder if there's anything in there. Okay. Pop it open. Oh, of course. Of course you need a place to put your SIM card in. So, um, has all that information right here. So your SIM card right here and your micro SD card slot. Gives you kind of a little picture of what it looks like. A little close up of it. Let's see, see that. So micro SD card slot and SIM card. I actually have a SIM card right here. My little trusty SIM card. I'm gonna slide it in here. Hopefully match it up. Slice in just like that, right there. I'm not gonna put in a micro SD card slot. I'm not sure what that does just yet. I wonder what the slide does. Okay, I'm gonna leave this cover off first for now, since I don't know. And this is the other design on the other side. This is kind of like a dummy design. I don't know why they made them like a scratch there, like a art or cutting of it, but it doesn't really do anything. So, um. It doesn't even come with a strap. Oh, there it is. So it comes with a little carabiner that holds it, right? But it comes with this little loop. Um, but it doesn't come with it. It doesn't, I don't see it in the box for me somewhere. Yeah. So for like a, a necklace or a little hand strap, <laughs> it comes with it, it built into it, but it's not included in the box somewhere. Nowhere in the box. Anyways, on to turning it on. I believe there's one button. I'm gonna turn it on, power it up. It's booting. Okay, so first thing it does, it boots up. And since this is the first time showing you guys seeing it and I'm seeing it, we'll just go through what it looks like. And we'll see, I'm gonna turn my phone on airplane mode and then only connect to Wi-Fi. And we'll see how it works that way, so. Turn my phone on uh, airplane mode and I'll connect it to Wi Fi. And I'll uh, try to connect the Wi Fi onto this device once it shows me how it works. As it's booting up. It's kind of cool, like a little screen, but it doesn't give you much information. Um, it's just a portable LT, 4G LTE router, but other than that, doesn't really give us any other guides to how to use this. So let's actually look at the instructions while it's booting up. So uh, when powered up, your Moody router will broadcast both 2.4 and 5G Wi-Fi signals with the same SSID. So you can connect via Wi-Fi as the, it's called the GLE750 Wi-Fi network. And it even tells you the password to connect to it. Or you can connect it via LAN. But you need to set up your router if it's your first time using it to choose your preferred language. All right, this is T-Mobile, no internet. Okay, here we go. Their first time connecting, let's see. I will hold down my Wi-Fi, connect to Switch this. Not sure how to boot it. No service. Slice through the settings. So I'm gonna show you guys as you click through. It tells you if you want to connect through uh, through the the router itself. You can even turn on the VPN on it. It's built-in VPN. It's kind of cool. 
the internet has 2.4 2.4 G so let's connect it right away to the network first let's see password all right and it tells you the password is right on there so if in case you forget this little piece of paper the Wi-Fi password is on here check in the quality of the internet connection connect it without internet okay I need to connect via the IP address Let's open the browser up. First time setting up, no internet connection, choose my language. So I am at the IP address. Next, set up your admin password. I can keep it the same. Oh, it won't let me. I guess that's fine. I'll just create the same. It won't allow you to keep the same password as the initial device. Uh, let us do. Okay. Have to create a password. For All right. Create a password. Submit it. Not gonna save it. Okay. Here we go. I believe you have to have. Uh, VPN is not on, but it has 22% battery. So to be able to find out the battery life, actually it has a little battery bar on here, as you can tell. Um, sorry, it's blinking because of the connection. So I'm gonna do an auto setup. I'm gonna click on, there's a kind of like gives you all the information right here. And uh, even if you wanted to use it as a repeater, tethering, oh, you can use it to tether your phone. Cool, let's do auto setup for T-Mobile since I have it. On 4G. All right, cool. Auto setup. Um, I have internet. All right. Uh, uh, upload is three kilobytes. Download is two kilobytes. And gives me an IP address and an IMEI address. Uh, sells infinite. So I am connected and it looks like I am connected via here as well. So as tells you even, so as I cycle through it, I have one user connected through T-Mobile, got my 4G plus, the time is wrong, but we'll see how we can correct that. It'd be inside this app. And as I cycle through it, it gives me their router name and the password to get onto this device as well as if you want to connect it via 5G as well and the router modem uh, IP address and of course the VPN I believe you just hold it down and it'll turn on the VPN if you want it to but let's browse the internet on my phone let's look at let's take a look if we can set up the upgrade oh do I need to upgrade auto enable auto upgrade okay Cool. Um, wireless. Oh, this is cool. You show all the information you need. This is really easy to set up. I'm gonna have an update. So I'm gonna do this little update real quick. And it's downloading <laughs> via the Wi-Fi internet, so. This is funny since I'm using, I don't have internet, so it's kind of downloading it from the, you know, my SIM card. It's updating and let's install it. Install it. The update. That's going to take a little while. So, um, all in all, we'll say this works pretty well. So, you don't even need, it comes with. 20% of battery and you don't need anything else to actually utilize it 
actually tells you the information on here as well because I thought it didn't give you that like how do you know the IP address unless you're turning it on such but it gives you the SSID the IP and the key and of course the serial number the MAC address and all that stuff so all that is all built in to this little cover so I'm gonna snap this cover back on and it's good to go I wonder if this lock makes it easier to open. I, I really don't know what this lock is for. This little switch right here. So let me know I'm sorry using this. But a system updating is gonna take a while. It's still like, you know, 27%, as you can tell. But if you know that works, I'll check the speed later and find out. But that's all there is to this little unboxing of the Moody 4G LTE router. Comes with the built-in. 7,000 milliamp of battery. So it should last you pretty much half a day if you're using it continuously. And it comes with these little adapters, you know, for your laptop and such. But we're gonna charge this up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and make sure to subscribe to the channel to look for more, look forward to unboxings, more unboxings and other things and reviews. See you guys.